Hi guys, so I went to two charity shops today, Body Care, Superdrug and Poundland today. Um, it took me quite a while to get around those shops but I wanted to have a look so I just thought I'd show you what I got. So I'm going to start with Body Care because it's the first one I can get to. Um, I didn't get very much in there, it was more stuff to take away on holiday with us because we're going to the Isle of Wight in about two weeks and general stuff I needed around the house. So first thing I got was nothing exciting, just some tissues, um, yeah just plain soft white tissues, these are like 70p, just needed some downstairs, I just got a pack of Wilkinson Sword, five pack essential razors these are like 79p so they are to go on holiday with us because i'm going to be wearing three quarter length trousers and it's always the way that you know there's not hair or something that's left um so i just started like waxing my legs and there's always an odd hair that's left i then got some of these cucumber cleansing facial wipes removes face and eye makeup 25 wipes <laughs> sorry guys 25 wipes in a packet and it was 89p Singly or two for a pound. I've just got two. So I'm going for a week. So I'll probably take, end up taking both packets. I've also got some of these flushable toddler wipes, wild berry fragrance, hypoallergenic, 60 wipes. And these are 79p. We're going to take a potty with us so when we're out for the day, Libby can be in knickers and she can be starting to learn to potty train. So yeah, I thought these would be good for her. And they're flushable as well, so they're going on holiday with us. I also got some mango shimmer hand gel, uh, 100 milliliters. Again, this was like 79 or 89p. I always like to keep hand gel with, I always have it in my handbag anyway, but I always try to take it with us on holiday or anywhere we go. I got some of this head soothe. This was like pound thirty or something. If I find the receipt, I can let you guys know the exact price. Of this. It's like pound thirty or something. And I know the heat is gonna just get to me so bad. Um, just because it's getting to me so bad here so yeah i got some of this to help with a headache so i got that i then just got a pack of well just one face cloth this was like 60p i think and it's just stuff that i want to stick in the case now and just forget about it so all we've got to do is pack our clothes because it's always the little things that you forget so yeah, I got one of these. Again, this is more for if I get too hot, I can obviously make it cold and put it across the back of my neck. I can have some on my forehead. That's what that one's for more than anything. I got Matt a new toothbrush. Oh. Sorry guys. This was like 49p. This is just a medium wisdom one. So if I'm speaking funny guys, I still haven't got my tusk. There's a whole fiasco about that going on at the moment. I just I'll explain that at the end of the video because it's been a whole fiasco. Um I just got some little emery boards, just ideal to keep in your bag in case you rip your nail or anything. They're not brilliant for your nails, but they're ideal just in an emergency. So they were 39p. Um doesn't say how many you get, but you get quite a few. Oh, me. I then got some of these active all care in to dental brushes and I got them in the 0 0.45 millimeters millimeters uh, these were a pound and no one home bargains are cheaper because me and mum picked them up and they were like 40p or 60p but I wasn't a home bargains I went down to body um, care so I got some of those to take with us I got a glass nail file. These are the better ones for your nails if you're going to use a file. So I've got a little case, so I'm going to put that one in. And that was, I think, 60 or 70p. Oh, sorry guys, it's really taking it out of me today. Um, just trying to find the rest of the stuff in body care. Yeah, I think that's it. So then I just got a travel toothbrush holder. 
these are actually going to be used for my metal straw that I've got to take because they're ideal just to keep the metal straw safe and clean and not in your bag. This was like 17.59p. Sorry guys. I then just got some feminine wipes just because it's hot and sweaty and horrible. So I just got some of these and these were 50p. You get 25 wipes in the packet. I also got some of this odour control foot spray. This was 99p. I thought just again, when you're all day in flip-flops and stuff, your feet stink. So I just got some of that. And then I just got some dry shampoo in Paradise, 200 millilitres. And this was 99p, just a really cheap one, which will do. And the last thing I got from Body Wise was just some um, <sighs> Kotex liners. Now these are not going to be used for the reason they're used for. Any ladies with bigger boobs know that you get really bad under boob sweat. So um, somebody I know told me to stick these to the underside of your bra, like to absorb the sweat. So this is what these were for, and these were 70p. So that's what I got in body care. And then I went into saying a super drug because there was a couple of things I just couldn't get in body care. So what I actually got in super drug was two of these. I find these are the best panty liners going, especially if you have a little bit of incontinence, like where you cough or sneeze and you wet yourself, that kind of thing, which I have suffered with since I've had Libby. Um, Sorry guys, even though I had an emergency c-section, I find these are the ones that help the best and just make me feel more safer in that when I'm out. Um, you can get the smaller box of 22 and they're usually on like two for three pounds and they're usually on around about the same deal in Boots, Superdrug Anywhere, but these are boxes of 44 and they're usually on two for five pound which they were today so i tend to always get two boxes of 44 because i know that will last me like three and a bit months basically so yeah i've got two of those really exciting i know but two of those they're essential i then just got some nappy bags again an essential for taking on a holiday or a journey not only for nappies but for panty liners, for if you have a nosebleed in the car to put all your dirty tissues in, for your rubbish in the car, for if you feel sick in the car, anything like that. I always tend to try and keep some of these in my handbag and then in Libby's changing bag and in the car. So yeah, these are 100. Oh, baby. So sorry guys, my fatigue is kicking my ass again. Yes, these are 100 Lightly Fragrant Tie Clothes Handle ones. These are 99p, so they're going on holiday with us. And then the thing that I actually went in for was these cuticle sticks. Body Care did not have any of these. I use these to clean my nails out and sort out my cuticles now all the time. And I just wanted some, again, just to chuck in the case and just forget about it so I didn't have to put them in before holiday. Oh, pardon me. So yeah, these were 99p. That's what I went in for. And then I always look on the reduced section. And I found these reduced down. So these are by Nubby. They're saying Nubby accessories attached to push chair, car seat or high chair. Keeps cups or toys safe. And they're just a strap. So as you can see, you can put it on like a bottle. And it will hold a bottle safe. And as you can see in the back, it just looks like that. Both pink, both like got dots or whatever on them. Um, so yeah, these were reduced down to 70p from 5 99 and they only had two left. So I grabbed those because I thought that might be quite good for in the car. Um, so I could attach to her car seat so that she couldn't drop her drink down on the floor where she couldn't get it. So I grabbed those. So they'll be going on holiday with us. And then something I grabbed for Libby to try because she's start to get into that little phase of like little girls want to try makeup and stuff so i bought some like poundland stuff and she's been using that and this one was reduced down to 30p this is a uv lipstick in red and it was down to 30p so i just thought 
if you can play with that one. So I got that. Uh, then I'll go on to Poundland. Um, and then I'll just go on to the charity shop. So the first thing I picked up in Poundland is two bucket and spade sets. So in each of these you get a bucket and then you get a spade and a rake and then you get one, two, three, you get four little shapes for a pound. Libya's already got about three buckets of little things but we were going on holiday with a nephew and last time we went on holiday there was kind of a kerfuffle that whatever Harry had Libby wanted, whatever Libby had Harry wanted it, but rather than just swap they'd have a big fight. So this time um, we're going to like a uh, like a haven kind of thing. So what I've done is all the toys that I'm taking, I'm getting the same thing but in two different colours so they shouldn't fight because they've got the same thing. So even though Libby had a set, I thought I'm going to get them both exactly the same set so they can't fight because Libby had a set but it was a slightly smaller set and I thought if Harry gets a set and Libby hasn't got the same one they're going to fight. So I just got two the same, one in pink, one in blue. And again, they're to go on holiday with because we've got a beach on site and we're near the beaches so I just thought, well, we'll get a set. Next thing I bought was Listerine Cool Mint, milder taste, 250 millilitres, obviously this was a pound, zero alcohol. And again, this is just to go in the holiday um, case so I just don't have to think about it. I'm, I'm trying to put everything in the holiday case so the only thing I need to do is put clothes in there and like the immediate things like phone chargers and stuff so like there's some new swimming costumes for Libby in there I've bought some new trousers and some new tops or second hand and stuff so they're in there so I'm just trying to get all the little fiddly ass things in there so I don't have to think about them so already sun creams in there and stuff like that so yeah as we're going for a week mouthwash so that's another holiday thing and then we'd actually run out of mouthwash at home so I just got the Aquafresh at extra fresh daily mouthwash fresh mint and this is 500 milliliters so i just got that for us for now just put that out of the way put them in there and then they just go a step here the next thing i got was really really boring i just got a pack of the two clear tape and they've now got this black thing in there when they're in store they used to be sold just like this and now they've got this black ring thing which really pisses me off so when i'm in store i do take the black thing out and leave it in store because it just annoys me but yeah i just got some clear tape nothing special and then i also got two brown tapes i normally have been buying this off of line like online because i get a better deal off of it because i've been paying eight pounds for um eight eight pounds for eight rolls but each roll is the equivalent to three rolls of this so it makes sense um and that's including postage but yeah i needed some and i i don't need that much because i've tried to clear out all the parcels i've had from buying and selling before the holiday so a lot of them went out yesterday so yeah i just got two of the packs of the brown tape oh, three packs actually got picked up three this is another thing to put back in the holiday things. This is eight pack of bubbles with wands. It was obviously just a pound. And I just thought, again, bubbles are really simple, really easy. They can't fight over them. Something that, you know, if they use them up while they're down there, they use them all up, we can refill them. Really simple. Hopefully, stop arguing. And then I got two packs of tennis balls. Now, downstairs, Libby has this like a pop-up thing and on one side it's got holes to throw balls through and then the other side it's got like a velcro pardon me like target but i didn't have the balls to stick to it so i'm hoping these are stick to them so i got two packs um just because i thought it might keep her occupied so yeah it's a, a libby thing Oh, this is something from body care as well that I forgot. It's been at the bottom of the bag. So this is organic aloe vera gel, 100 millilitres, and this was a 99p. So that's been on holiday with us. So back to Poundland. 
we are doing a scrapbook of Libby's whole six week holidays because there's a teacher at her nursery that she absolutely adores and she cried her eyes out the fact that she's going to be away from her for six weeks so we're making a little scrapbook up and she's really excited about it and we're putting in photos of stuff she's doing um so i've been picking up stickers for it and today i just picked up this little girl dressing one because libby does help with the washing and stuff so i thought the clothes would be good for that one and they were two for a pound so i picked up this cards travel one because i thought we could put like we traveled to the holiday destinations day and i saw trucks and cars and stuff like this so I got that one as well for that. And they were two for a pound. Also at the travel section, I got these five travel jars. As you can see, they go to a really, really small one or bigger one. And I thought that this, this might be quite good to put things like my eczema cream in. Because my eczema cream um, oops, over there, is in a big pipe box. <laughs> This is my spare one so it's in a massive tub like this and i just thought why lug around this when i can like pump out some and put it maybe in this one and just take that on holiday with us for a week because it seems pointless hogging around that one so yeah i got that for kind of like my eczema cream um matt's been using e45 lately and i just don't see the point in taking a whole pot if we don't need to so again i can just do decanter it and it's something i can keep in my handbag so if i do need it on the go or anything we can use that another thing for holiday picked up was these spinners again we've got them in two different colors so the kids can't fight so i thought they could both do this i got one orange one green we're taking like a little um Like a little case that you take on a plane full of toys. I am. Um, and then a couple of my friends have been asking me to pick up these. There were only literally four in the whole store that I went in today. I'm going to try and go back to the other stores if I can. But I found the construction worker and the vampire. So I got these two for Kate. Um, she did send me a picture of one she wanted and she wanted two of each. But I couldn't open the picture in store. Um, so I just got these two and if they're not the ones that Kate wants then I'll just sell them one that's fine but they only had one of each so I just grabbed the one of each they had and then the last couple of things from Poundland I'll just put this in here this is all stuff that's got to go downstairs the last couple of things from Poundland is for one item is for one of my subscribers that I met at a car boot sale when I was looking around one day. Um, so I've personally got this myself. This is the Get Organised organizer. I'm sure she won't mind me opening it and showing people. I say I've got exactly the same one. So inside here, this is five pounds in Poundland. Um, Kerry has paid me for this so inside you get a little ruler that's attached to it and then you've got some stickers and you've got some more stickers and then you've got personal information and then you've got like a, a week to view kind of diary thing and then you go through and you've also got a to-do list a meeting thing so you can put company contacts venue date persons attending objective note deadline reference then you've got notes where this is on mine where i've got all my addresses stored and then you've got other little tabs of just plain things so on this bit i've got my um my phone numbers i need and then there's two other tabs of just plain bits and then at the back you've got this heart and inside this heart you've got these little stickers I think the stickers i haven't tried this i think they're just sayings actually i've got this one this one this one this one and this one and they just sit in there so yeah i picked that one up for kerry and she's already paid me for it like i say i have got exactly the same so that'll be coming on holiday with me my one obviously is kerry's 
I'll be posting the photos off to her. So she's been looking for it down her end. Um, she couldn't find it. So it's going down first to be fitted. And then the last thing I got in Poundland is I used to be a really big book reader. And I've kind of gone off it lately. But I saw this in there. Now I love Ed Sheeran. I love the music. I've got all his um albums on my phone and stuff and i even had an edge here on top on when i went shopping today so when i seen this in there i thought i'm definitely going to get it i'm either going to read it at home or take it on holiday with me but it's just telling you his life and stuff like that and i am so happy i got this so this probably might be starting to be read home i don't know because I, I kind of when i go to bed i tend to watch youtube i may watch this uh, read this but it'll probably be something that I take on holiday with me. So I got that. And then the last place I went to was the charity shops. So if I get the one I don't go to that often out first. And show you that first. Show you the things I got in there first. And then I'll show you the one that I love. Obviously, all of this needs to be washed. Hold oh, up. I'll just move this so I can chuck it back in the bag. On the floor. So. The one I don't go to that often. I had a look in today. Now, again, I'm not sure if these are my, like you know my thing or not but we're going to try them so this is the cancer research shop where everything in there is a pound or under and i love to have a look in there so this one i think is more for my auntie than me it's an anna rose collection by pa una and it's a size extra large which i believe is 16 and it's just this top now I'm going to try it on first, see if I like it. If not, it'll probably go to my auntie because I think I picked this up more for my auntie than me. But we'll see. But yeah, I've got that one to try. So I've got a little box down here to put all the tags in because obviously I'm going to wash them. So yeah, that was the first one I picked up for a pound. Ooh. And then... This one is definitely for my auntie. This is a monsoon, size 16. And this is definitely, this has got my auntie written all over it because this is the kind of top she wears. And it's just this like coral kind of vest top but with slightly wide straps. You can hear some noise, that's the guinea pigs that we're looking after at the moment for mum. So yeah. That's my aunties. And then again, I don't know whether this one's going to fit me, but if it doesn't, I'll just sell it on. But for a pound, I had to try it. So this is just a Calvin Klein, I suppose, crop top in size extra large. I thought it might be good under like an oversized top, but I'm going to try it and we'll see. I also got a pair of black, I suppose you'd call them. Joggers by Bon Marsh. The only thing that puts me off of these is they've got the foot bit, if that makes any sense. So you put your foot in it and then this bit goes underneath your foot to hold your, your bottom of your jogger down, which I'm a bit... Mm. So we'll try them, but they're just plain black joggers. So I thought, again... Especially getting stuff for a pound and stuff, it's ideal so if you're a bit out of your comfort zone, it's worth trying. Now they also do kids stuff in there. Now the kids stuff is usually 50p each, sometimes they're on three for a pound, sometimes they're a little bit more expensive. But the, the most it'll go to is a pound. So these are originally by Next, these are seven years old, but Libby, if you watch my channel, know, you know that she's in like six to seven sometimes eight to nine depending on what it is 
so most of her trousers are like anywhere between five to seven depending on the cut so these are actually an age seven and they're by next and they are very stretchy but also they've got the adjustment in there so these probably will fit her now because of the stretchiness and i just thought they were really cute for 50p so i've got those for libby this was also another 50p kids buy and again this might fit her now it might not it might be a bit too big but that's fine i was happy to put it back it's a six to seven so it probably will fit her right now and it's just a tatty teddy with roses on and that was 50p i thought that was quite cute i also spotted these which are nutmeg seven to eight years and they are just little leggings that we just got butterflies on so these are going to be a bit too big for her at the moment but i got them for her 50p bargain this one is seven to eight but the length i don't think it's gonna fit as in seven to eight year old i think it's gonna fit libby now it's by mini b original quality kids wear i've never heard of that but this is libby all over anyone who knows libby knows she's ice cream obsessed burger obsessed so yeah this is definitely libby i think i'll probably take this on holiday with us because this could be something that i could just put with shorts something like that i got that for her again this is a hmm, not too sure about one now this said it was a five to six it's a tu school six years one i guess it's for jim but we'll see and it's just a little blue skirt with a white line i'm just gonna see i mean if it doesn't suit her doesn't fit her it's either gonna get kept back until it does fit her or it'll be sold if it's too big and i don't like it on her or something and then the last thing from that shop is a seven to eight years kids trespass jacket it's just one of those packy mac things the hood can come on, on or off white dots so that's from that one right so then is the shop I go to whenever I can. So I picked up some things last week. I'm gonna say last week with my mum when we just quickly popped in there because we were parked outside. And the things that I'm not quite sure about, so we're gonna try them on. So I'll show you those um, first and then I'll explain about today. So the things I picked up with my mum the other day, these are things to try for myself and I may possibly like adjust them a bit as in revamp them put something different but i found this green and white striped shirt and that one's 50p i've got this dress for libby it's five to six years so she needs to try it on now but it's just a black spotty dress by jules so i'm going to get her to try that one on that's 50p i found these i was looking everywhere for cropped denim jeans and do you think i could find them no so these said size 16 but i've just realized they say 12 so they're definitely going to be up for sale because they definitely ain't going to fit my fat ass but these are cropped denim so but they're going to be going up for sale because i've just realized they say 12 but they originally on the hanger and on the tag and everything they said size 16 so that's an out the window one anyway they're a pound so so this one has got no tag on it i'm going to try this myself and it's like a gold shimmer top i'm just going to try that one that was 50p this one again i'm in an hour and about but it's one of those ones you've got to try on to see it's originally by peacocks this is 50p so it's the top like this quite bright and it's got the cold shoulder detail on it now i don't know if the print's me i think it's probably going to be too short for me and i'm not too sure about the cold shoulder detail but 50p i'll try it 
this is another one I'm not too sure about. This is why I kind of go charity shop shopping because for the cheapness you can try these different things and even if you want to try DIY in it and it's not that good, you're not lost anything. But again, I think this is going to be quite short for me. This is the kind of style top I like, but I think it's going to be too short for me because I think this natural, this line that's going to go under your boobs probably won't go underneath my boobs. But yeah, again, 50p. And these things are just like, if I don't like them or they don't fit me, don't don't suit me, they're just going to go up for sale on my site anyway, so it's not going to be a loss. This one has got no tags again, but it's a very nice, lightweight, grey, floaty t-shirt, which I thought would be ideal for holiday. That was 50p. And then the last thing from the other day, again, is something that's normally out of my comfort zone, but we're going to try. Try it if I put it the right way around. It's inside out at the moment these have been through the wash is this floaty vest top it's got like crinkling on the top now i'm not sure it's me but we'll try it so that's what i got the other day in there and now i'm going to show you what i got today so this one was 50p the other day they had all the children's stuff well, for about a month now they've had all the children's stuff 25p but now it's gone back up but today only the women's tops were a pound. So I went, I was just walking past, I wasn't going to go in there. But I went in there and had a look. But this one is a Gap Kids. It was 50p. It's age 6 to 7. And I just thought I'd try it on Libby. It's just a gorgeous little pink dress. It's too big for her at the moment, I think, waist-wise. Because it does look very wide in the waist. But I thought I'd try that. I also found this little dress, which is 6 to 7, 50p. I've seen this dress in there a couple of times, and I was like, mm, is it Libby, is it not? So I just thought, sold it for 50p. I'm just going to get it. It's a little strappy dress, little elastic at the top. And it just goes down nice, just blue and white stripes. 50p, I thought I'd try it. Now, this is one of the tops I've picked up, and this was originally 150 and obviously for today only it was down to a pound. Now everything in the bag has had black bits on it. And I didn't understand why. Like you can see the black bits on there. And I've just realised why. Is this top. So this is the top. It's a size 16. It's a nice thin lightweight top. Which I thought about my auntie straight away. But the little black bits. It's like a leather look. Can you see how it's all like coming off? So I'm hoping by putting it through the washing machine see there it's all coming off so that's where all the black bits have come from so just so i've got to wash all this but that was a pound and back to the kids section these are m s originally part of a two-part set 11 to 12 years just little swimming bottoms 25p now some people might go eh, swimming costume yeah second hand it's no different than if your friend's child wore it and then you gave it a good wash in a washing machine and then your child wore it. It is no bloody different. So, I mean, maybe you might get to this age and go, I don't like it. For 25p, I don't really care. It gives a good wash and we'll see if she likes it or not. So, we'll see. I don't get these people that are like, ee, ee, ee. I always wash everything I get from charity shops because a lot of charity shops do not wash and dry clothes just because they don't have the facilities to wash it and dry it like can you imagine how much clothes they get in can you imagine having to wash and dry that like the washing may not be a problem but where the hell would they hang out to dry that because if you put that in a tumble dryer you'd have to constantly be there to keep taking it out and it would shrink the clothes and so can you imagine where they'd have to hang all that to dry that the amount of clothes they get they literally that washing machine would be on 24 7 that shop's open so a lot of charity shops do not wash clothes I always wash clothes before I take it to the charity shop, but anything I do buy from charity shops, I do always wash it anyway. And I'm gonna have to speed up because this video is 34 minutes. So this is just a Minion I Love My Teddy yellow striped vest. This was 25p. So that's another Libby for holiday thing. This one was, uh, was 25p. It's the next 11 years. It's just some more summer shorts. And bottoms again for 25p i'll try them this is a six to seven primark dress 
was 50p. Again, just a nice pastely striped dress. Might come in for holidays. We will see. This one is a size 10. Why did I pick up a size 10? Okay, it was obviously on the wrong thing because I originally picked this up for me. But it's saying size 10 on it, so this is obviously going to be going up for sale. Anyway, it's just a strappy vest top with this like, rope design. Pink with little dots on, but it said 16. Is a size 10. I should have checked. But for a pound, I'm not really worried. Uh, this one was 25p. Original Manta Ray 9 to 10. I'm guessing that's got to be a good brand. But I just got this little Manta Ray top. 25p for Libby. 25p. If I buy it and she doesn't like it, because she's got real attitude with clothes at the moment of, I'm not liking it, I won't wear it. You've got no chance of getting her to wear it. 25p, I've not lost a lot. So, yeah. Another pair of little just blue stripe swimming, swimming shorts. Again, 25p. Also got this Wilco in the bag, delicate washing bag. 50p. I'm going to take this on holiday. Put the buckets and spades and that lot in it. And be able to shake it off to get all the sand off before it goes in the car. That was the idea for that one. This is my size so i'm going to try this on they originally wanted four pound fifty for this down to a pound today special deal for today women's tops so it looks like this it's very floaty and fitted um it's something i'm gonna have to try on because i believe this is polyester yeah outer is 100 percent polyester inner is 100 percent polyester i struggle with polyester stuff but i thought it was gorgeous and for a pound i'd definitely try it but it's just a very nice, like the sleeves are very see-through. Very nice floaty top with this butterfly design. But again, it's going to be sink on wash. And I try and I see. And if it's me and I can wear it and I don't get hot and sweaty in it, I'll keep it. If I don't, it'll be going for sale. Some of these tops have been in there for a little while. And I was like, mm, 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 yeah, I'm not going to pay like three, four quid for them just to try. Which I know is still a good deal. So when they had on the window, women's tops, one pound a day only. I was like, hell yes. So this they wanted £2.99 for originally. Obviously today, pound. And again, just a nice floaty three quarter length top. This one I think I will be able to get away with if it suits me. Um, oh no, it's 52% polyester, 48% cotton. So, again, it'd have to be one of those ones that I wash it and try it on and keep it on for, say, five, ten minutes, see if I um, get hot and sweaty in it, but I'll try it for a pound. Um, then this one was originally two pounds. And it's a Bon Marche one again. This one I know I can get away with. But I just thought it was a nice holiday one. So I'm going to try it on for lengthwise. But for a pound. Might be perfect holiday attire. This one I know is not going to fit me. But I know I've got friends that will want this. So this originally they wanted two pounds for. I mean I'm going to try it on. I think it may fit me. But we'll see. So this is an 18 to 20 Primark. And this is one of their uh, night dresses. And it obviously is two from Mrs. Potts. But that was a pound. So I'm going to try it. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, off sell it goes. This one they originally wanted one fifty four. Not big saving, 50p, but still 50p is 50p. And again, I thought it might be a nice holiday top. It's just this one and it's got cocktails and stuff on it. So again, a pound. We'll try it. This one is another like, mm, not too sure, but you never know. Sometimes you look at stuff on the hanger and it looks horrendous. Like my auntie has done that quite a lot of times with some tops I've picked up. She's gone, oh my God, I don't like that. And when she's put it on, she's absolutely loved it. Now this is from Simply B. So I'm guessing this was quite expensive at one point. And it's just this, it's these like lace work kind of effect. Very light blue cotton vest top a pound gonna try that another 25p item for libby just another pair of swim shorts 
it's a lovely little design like i say 25p if she doesn't wear them not lost a lot this one they wanted 154 originally and it's just a bog standard women's white loose vest top nothing special but for a quid i'll give it a go this one i thought may if i can get away with it may be nice having one of those like thin vest tops like that and just having a little cover up for holiday and just generally when it's hot because i know a lot of people don't like their arms and stuff which i don't so this is just a very kind of off off cream color and it's got, it's got some detailing around the neck it's originally by evie it's just a very thin long sleeve top so i'm going to try that like i say my idea is a thin vest top that over the top and the same with this one although if this does fit me and it does suit me because it's polyester again so i'm like nah we'll see i will be cutting off these sequins because they annoy me but it's polyester again so we'll see it's the same kind of idea a little vest top and just this sheer long sleeve top over it but like i say if i do do it i'll be taking off all these sequins because they're around all the neckline and then they go halfway down the arm like opens up and they're like all around the arm some of them have come off and all down on the sleeve so i will be taking that off if i do keep it so i got that and then i got two other things from there so first thing i thought was an absolute bargain so this is a builder bear recognize the, the bunny straight away builder bear and then it's got clothes on it as well and it was 50p for the whole thing so it's got this little top on for arsenal now libby's anti swartz arsenal so this is quite good it's a little pair of jeans with a hole for its tail and its jacket and the whole thing was 50p bargain because the clothes on its own is way more than 50p i know the builder bears are way more than that as well so 50p for the whole lot bargain and then the last thing i got i as a kid i remember my mum having these and my grandma and i saw it in the shop today for 25p i was like i've got to have that just this little glass vase and i remember always picking daisies and stuff and this being filled with water, putting the daisies and putting it on the, the kitchen window. So when I saw that, it was just a memory from childhood. And I don't know why I've been getting a lot more memories. So I, like, I got some pogs from that was a good memory. And I went to the range the other day and I found this sweet pea vase thing. And I love sweet peas. They remind me so much of my grandma and I want a sweet pea tattoo. Um, so I just got that vase because I've been looking everywhere for sweet peas. Normally everywhere sells them and I can't find any sweet peas. I've got some growing but they're not flowering yet. And I wanted these sweet peas so I bought that. And then I found some yellow tulips which remind me so much of my granddad. So I've got these two vases. 